Hello my beautiful singles out there. How are you guys doing? This reading is for all you guys who are not in a relationship. You're single. We're going to be getting advice for you guys coming from your spirit guides as well as angel energy. This is a reading for all zodiac signs. There are timestamps in the description box below as well as in the comments. Just go straight to your zodiac sign and tip on that timestamp and go straight to your reading guys. Hello Aries, this is a message for all you single Aries out there. Um, let's see what Spirit Guide has got to say to you with regards to love, guys. Let's clear the space of any previous readings and send that positive energy through to you guys out there. Let's get started. Let's, let's use the angel tarot today and uh, let's see what messages are going to come through for you with regards to you and love and, and what's happening. So let's have a look and see. Wow, we've got a release energy, which is the death card in the original tarot. This is Archangel Azariel's energy. High Priestess, I like that as well. Um, Archangel Haniel is coming here. And the Queen of Fire. Woo. One of the things with when I'm doing a reading like this and I'm doing it for single people, I kind of sometimes like to look at the Wands energy, which is the Queen of Fire energy, which is Wands energy, the fire element as being single <laughs> okay and so this kind of is your energy right now even if this is not even if it was not a fire sign i would say it's your energy because of the vibe of it being single so yeah it says archangel azuriel death energy the end of a phase or a situation my goodness me spiritual transformation a time to move on and then a high priestess energy has come up here as well listen to your your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting Ha ha, there's a lot of information coming in here, especially as advice and for you guys out there. This is, this is your energy currently right now. Confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. That's such a beautiful way to describe somebody. Um, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence. You see the, the single vibe and creativity. So what is coming through here from all of these cards, we're going to get confirmation cards out, is that you may be at the end of being single very, very soon. Um, with the end of a phase or a situation, the death energy coming in here, it tells me you could be literally very close to meeting somebody. Um, the spiritual transformation energy and the time to move on with the energy of High Priestess. Um, this is an energy of, by the way, releasing anything from the past. It tells me that whoever might be coming in here is somebody completely new because the time to move on is about releasing things from the past. And this is interesting because spiritual transformation together with the high priestess shows me that even you as yourself may be doing something um, or looking at life in a very different way than what you usually do. There's also a sense of intuition coming in here because of the high priestess energy. There could be a feeling that there, I feel like like there could be somebody around or I feel like somebody's oh and there the herbs go popping in the background that charcoal block sometimes likes to explode herbs usually happens when we have said something important so listen to your intuition I was saying you might be feeling as if there is a relationship coming in and that can cause you not to have patience it's almost like well, I feel this love I feel this energy where is it they really asking you to have patience and with this consider carefully this is where you need to make sure you know exactly what it is that you want. And of course, the stretch your wings and fly. Get out there, have fun, enjoy um, being with people, getting to know people. Just actually, it's like an energy of having fun. And you are more actually attractive than what you think you are. It's just that sometimes we need to be waiting for the right person that matches with us or the right person that's meant for us. Let's see what comes in. Yeah, there you go. Five of Pentacles energy. Um, this is you releasing everything from the past. Um, the Five of Pentacles talks about history from where you've come from. It talks about the stability that you've had before. For. And this is what you need to walk away from. You may have actually ended relationships before or one specific relationship that did make you feel in this way as if you were lost and alone. For some of you guys, you may even have children as well from a person and you're now single with that child and you're like you two of you don't have that connection with somebody. They are telling you please to be patient because after something has ended, especially with this, a time to move on, you can do nothing to fix something from the past. You have to move on. You have to find a new place to be. And this is what this card talks about. You cannot do anything from the past. You can only fix what comes in the future because what comes in the future is without a doubt a new beginning. To have a 
death card come up with the devil card being here. There is a soulmate connection coming in. And this is what I could feel when the herbs pop so much like that. I said to you, um, I almost feel like you, you can feel a connection to somebody and it can make you get impatient. Where I feel there's a connection. I feel like there's somebody out there, but where are they? And here's this devil, devil card. There's the connection you do have with a person that I feel you have not as of yet met, but you almost feel the love already. You can almost feel the connection to this person. They are asking you to be patient. They will come into your world. This is very interesting. Whoa. You know, give spirit free reign to say what they want to say. And they're going to say, it's happening very quickly, guys. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, sorry. Um, I feel like it is this energy of you being alone, especially if you do have a child with you. It is this energy of you ending a cycle here. This is the beginning of a new cycle. It's an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. This is the same card the same energy. It talks about what has been because it's in the reverse position. It talks about what has happened and how you have carried the stress and the strain all alone about a lot of things that have happened in your life, but you got it in the reverse position. So this tells me that you are very close to walking away from this. Let's see what else comes up here. You need to trust though. You need to trust because with the five of wands coming up here, it also says you're a lot in your head thinking about if you will ever find somebody. I know we we don't see something in reality you know we don't see that in reality it's hard to believe that this is coming when we don't see it we want to see physical energy of something and not just feel it in our in our energy body not just feel it in our emotions as you are feeling it with a high priestess so this can cause you with the five of pentacles what you've seen from the past hope you're wondering will i ever really have this in the future so let's see what spirit guide has got to say for this let's see what they say yes you are having a very stable relationship coming in yes this is good actually i like knight of pentacles when it comes to relationships to be honest it's a very stable offer and it's slow moving henceforth the need for patience um but there is a person coming here with the knight of pentacles there this tells me that somebody is coming this person is stable they may be an earth sign as well they are very uh interesting energy to come up here to be honest by the way this is scorpio's energy as well popping up here it may be uh, one of their stronger signs or even their main sign and um, that is a very interesting energy to come up with the pentacle as well because they are very oh my gosh you know what comes up here with this knight of pentacles i told you it's a stable sign this relationship that's coming in there is definitely one coming in but you have to be patient um for this to manifest into the world for you this relationship is very stable with this knight that can lead to this energy which is the four of wands by the way which is the card that talks about the day of celebration you can talk about marriage as well and that's what the knight does the knight of pentacles is one that wants stability. Thank you. You know what I mean? And I do feel like this is coming in for you. This is you being very, very happy as well. The thing is with this, it's also the 1111 number. And that 1111 number kind of reminds me of this release energy as well. And even the, the high priestess, the feeling of something important coming. For some of you guys, you may be even seeing it on, the, on your phone, like 1111, when a message comes in, or when you look up at your clock or whatever, it's 1111. Um, it's this indication of a very big change coming into your world. For this reading, for you guys, I honestly... I really feel it starts here at an ending and a, and a new beginning in your in your life. But I feel like it's an, a big a stage of your life where you've been here, where you've been single for quite some time. And they, it creates a doubt here that will you ever really meet somebody, even though you can feel like there's somebody out there, but where are they? This is totally coming in here for you. And um be yourself, you know, show your energy, show who you are, live, create the world and the person that you would love to see yourself as being, because that is exactly who you're going to uh, attract to yourself. The same kind of person that you are is who you're going to attract to yourself. So if you want a person that's confident and doing well in life, then you have to be that. Use this time to create that and end cycles so that you can bring in this celebration, this happiness, this commitment that you're looking for. And there it is. There it is, guys. Please, if the re video does resonate, hit that thumbs up. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next reading. I'm sending love and light to all of you. Bye. 
Hello Taurus, for all you single guys out there, I want to get message from Spirit Guide for you, just advice coming through with regards to, to love. So let's clear the space of any previous readings and energies and send all that positive vibes through to you guys out there. Let's see, today I want to use the Angel Tarot. Let me just get my chair properly pulled up. I cannot keep those um, herbs close or the camera will get fogged up. So let's get started. Let's get three cards out for you with regards to what is going on with you. Let's see. Whoa, this card, I just had this card for in the exact same position for um, Aries. So let's see what else comes up here. Justice, yes. Got a release energy, which is the death energy. Scorpio's energy as well. You've got justice that has come up here. Libra's energy. Ooh, and eight of water. Hmm. With this and that there, well, it tells me this single Taurus who I'm reading for has possibly just come out of a breakup, even possibly a divorce. Um, because of the justice card being here, you may have divorced last year or even be in the process of divorcing right now. Um, if this is not a divorce energy, it's definitely a breakup that you've been through. I kind of feel like this is still fresh here. I don't feel like you've been single for a very long time. You just going through it or have been through it recently um, because of the two cards that talk about walking away from something, moving on. Um, with the release energy, which is Archangel Azariel's energy, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation. And that is truly when we go through breakups and we go through things where we have to mourn a loss of something, we do have a spiritual transformation because it does change us. Um, a time to move on. Jumping straight to this one because it's the same energy. Eight of water, which is eight of cups energy, a desire to move on. Because it's saying a time to move on, it was almost like something possibly that you didn't want to happen, but you had no choice because of somebody's behavior or because even they themselves wanted to leave the relationship. But with this, I feel like at this moment, you've gone through a sort of through that spiritual transformation, I do feel like you've kind of made peace with leaving. Um, you've decided that, yeah, that is in the past. Let it be. Um, I let go. That's the energy of a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful. It still tells me that you are looking for something that was not this. I still believe that you believe and you feel that there is love out there and it does exist. That is beautiful because sometimes people, when they go through something like this, they kind of don't believe in love anymore. And I feel like you still do, which is very, very beautiful. Um, spiritual and emotional growth, boom, spiritual transformation. So this relationship has taken you through a phase where it's changed who you are. But honestly, from what I'm seeing here, especially with the justice card being here, I do feel like this is transformation for the better for you. You're growing a lot from this. With the justice card being here, Archangel Ragul's energy, um, this can, like I said, be a court case. It did go your way. Um, if it was, if it is not a court case, I do feel like you were the one in the right in this connection. The breakup was not your fault. Um, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. Um, I honestly feel like it could have, it might have been you that um, caused the breakup, but not caused it, had no choice but to bring it in because of somebody else's behavior. By the way, this connection that was a breakup, this is a karmic connection. Um, it is karmic because of the justice card coming up there and you've broken the karma with this person. Unfortunately, breaking karma with sometimes literally means breaking up. Look, pull back energy without a doubt. The Four of Swords comes back in here. It can be them that also lost interest in the relationship, but it can also be your energy with the Four of Swords as well that has now left the connection. You are in a healing phase here. You needed to now just breathe, kind of like to recover from what everything that has happened, especially if this is something much more serious like a court case. Yo. And wow, the justice card comes up again. Can you imagine? In the reverse position this time. Um, let me tell you, this this breakup situation, um, it was something unfair towards you. Even though you were in the right um you were the one, you had every right to do what you did. If you caused, if you went and said, no, I, we need to separate. We need to go through this divorce. We need to, I'm breaking up with you kind of vibe. Um, you had every right to do so because of what was going wrong. It was without, I felt it before already that it wasn't used that, that caused this relationship to actually fall apart. It was somebody else's behavior. They were very, I don't know, cruel. I kind of got this energy of them being quite cruel, um, uncaring, having no feelings, don't really 
really care what they did and how it affected you with the justice card being in the reverse position. That's somebody who intentionally does not care. And I feel like this is why you had to take action like this. Let's see what card is sticking out here. But you're waiting for stability. In the future, you still have this belief that you're going to find somebody who's going to come in here for you and be stable and be in your world. And I feel like you're waiting for this still. Even with this energy of um, the search for something more meaningful, that is this energy. The waiting, the meaningful thing is somebody who's serious, somebody who takes your feelings seriously, somebody who takes the effort that you put into a connection seriously. And um, I do believe you're waiting for a very stable long-term relationship with a seven of pentacles there. Sometimes you may wonder and doubt will it ever happen. But remember these pentacles, yeah, they're still growing. They're going to be matured and they're going to come out. So let's see what comes up here. Oh my. Yes, you will receive this, guys. Um, you have got a connection coming in. There is a two of wands energy. Partnership. Um, you will have to heal before this comes because this is a card of healing, a card of need, needing to, a card, in, <laughs> a card of needing to um, recover from what you've been through. Uh, when this takes place, when you do heal from this completely, you will receive a partnership here. By the way, love the fact that it's the Two of Wands um, because the Two of Wands talks about long term long-term partnership it also talks about two people who really get along really well have very similar interests as well so if you meet this person i feel like you're going to meet them and it's going to happen quicker than you think holy moly um i think if you meet this person wow and the three of ones comes in here as well if you meet them i feel like um it's going to be that you meet them because you have very similar interests you may even um uh, be doing something that you like. For instance, maybe you like to go to gym and you meet this person because they like to go to gym as well. Or maybe you like to run or and they also like to run. It's a kind of a similar interest that you guys have that brings you together. But this can happen very quickly, guys. With the Eight of Wands being here and these two cards being next to it, it talks about speed. Um, this might surprise you. You need to open up your world here with the three of wands to meet this person. So you need to get out there. You need to, I think in the desire to find something more meaningful, make something more meaningful about what you want. So kind of like look at your own life and go, how can I improve my everyday life? What can I do to make my life bigger? Because this is the energy that I'm getting. You know, I'm looking at something here. There's, there's an image of a lady standing, male or female energy, by the way, holding the world. That's usually the world that they're holding. Um, and this person's sort of like looking out to the world as well. This can even indicating traveling a little bit. Um, I don't know how you guys are going to travel in current energy, but you know, just getting out there and being more out with people, getting to know different people. Um, there's a funny energy. I'm going to tell you what's coming through here. It's not an energy of um, spirit going, yeah, go party, you know, go out to clubs and go party. There's this really weird energy of like, something that improves your life it's almost like if it's a, if it's a hobby you're going to go take a hobby about um you're going to go learn to do art or you're going to go learn to do cooking or you're going to go learn some kind of skill that's something that you love for some of you guys it's something really obscure and strange like like hiking not hiking is not strange but it's the way you hike like it can be like i don't just hike i go climb mountains or like i'm gonna go skydiving you know there's something that some of you guys wanted to always do and um, that's really a bit different than most people will do like yeah let's go mountain climbing you know and this is the energy that's coming through and this is where you're going to meet this person this is where you're going to meet them. But otherwise, guys, if this reading resonates with you, please hit that thumbs up button, even subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you catch my next readings. Otherwise, yeah, open up your world. The way you find this person is literally to um, improve your own life on your own journey. Um, whatever it is that you want to do. If you ever said to yourself, you know, I want to go learn how to do pottery, then go and do that. It's not something where you're just going to go out there and have fun. It's something where it improves your life. That's where you meet this person because they have the very similar um, kind of drawing, kind of things that they want to do as well. But there we go, guys. I'm sending love and light your way. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, Gemini. This is for all you single guys out there. We're going to get some spirit guides advice out and see what they've got to say with regards to your relationships and love life in general and see what energy is coming through for you. Let's clear the space of any previous readings and energies and send that positive vibes through to you guys. I'm going to use the angel tarot today and for the vibe to do it. So let's go for it. Let's get some 
advice out from the angels and from your spirit guides with regards to what is going on with you. Let's have a look and see. Nine of water. Wow. If this is for single... Um, Eight of Earth, woo! If this is for single uh, Geminis out there with the Nine of Water, it tells me you've got a very huge support system. By the way, for some of you guys, you may have a very uh, strong support system of family and friends around you. Um, it's not like you like you feel lonely. Sometimes you might feel lonely, missing a, missing to be in a relationship, but you do have a lot of um, connections with regards to people around you, which is very very nice energy. Um, there is a chance. That you may be single, but there's somebody around that you're interested in. Um, because of what I'm picking up in this reading here, you've got the nine of water energy, wishes, a wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life. That was the energy that I was feeling in the beginning, the love of life, you know, having this uh, really nice support system of people around you. And with the eight of pentacles coming up here, skilled work is rewarded. Yes, learning all there is to know about a topic, even going back to school. That's just what's being saying on the card. But this tells me, if you're a single Gemini out there, let me tell you something. You've been taking care of yourself. You've been putting in the effort. You've been looking after yourself. You've been doing the, the right things. It's like you've been getting enough sleep and drinking enough water kind of vibe. You know what I mean? And um, this is very, very good to come in here. You may be looking uh, for love. You may be looking for a relationship currently. It's like you're going, you know, I, I feel good. I feel happy. You know, the love of life and you're really putting effort into yourself here. I feel like with the energy of the love of life and the aid of earth, I feel like you've been practicing self-love. Really, you can give lessons on this. That's how I'm picking it up. This is a very beautiful energy. And um, the three of fire, which is three of wands, talks about abundance. You know, that means living that life. It's like filling your life up with a lot of good things, you know, things look very good, having patience at this time and making long term plans. This is like the very, a very good energy to come to here. I almost feel like you're living your best life. Honestly, even if you're single, I feel like you're living your best life. Three of Wands as well, which is the fire energy, does talk about opening up your world, getting to know new people. I feel like you're very positive here. Um, I feel like you're a very positive person. I feel like you're living life to the fullest, even though you're single. I love it so much. But now, let's see what Spirit Guide has got to say with regards to this. Let's get some tarot cards out. Um, let's see what they say with regards to you and love and everything else. Whoopee, I dropped a card. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Six of Pentacles energy. Hmm. What's the Six of Pentacles? That's fair treatment. That's give and take. That's balance. You've got a Hierophant coming up here as well. Wow. And you have a Seven of Swords energy. Um, this is the thing with you and love. I feel like, honestly, for some of you guys, some of you Geminis out there, I feel like you've been single for quite some time. Um, you have said no to many, many people. Um, that tells me that woo, you got it together. You know, that's this kind of energy that I keep on picking up. I kind of feel like you got you got your life together. You got yourself together. It's almost like you, um, uh, you, you know how to take care of yourself. You know how to make yourself look the best you can. You eating good. You living life. You, you got to, you know, everything. I'm just picturing this person, male or female energy. That's just like full of energy and looks at life positively. Honestly, you're pretty much a catch, you know, but I feel like you said no to a lot of people. It's like, you know, now with the Hierophant coming up here, the Hierophant energy, this is Taurus's card as well. Um, this is an energy of knowing about life, knowing about what is right. There's an energy of spiritual growth here and understanding e uh, emotional growth, everything coming through in the Hierophant. When it's in the reverse position, it kind of like makes me feel about what I was describing up here, about how I'm seeing you. And it's almost like, you know, to be this kind of energy it takes one thing and that's discipline and you've and almost like you've learned that through growth in yourself because the thing is we need to be disciplined to be able to um create the life that we want i mean it's so easy to say 
<coughs> excuse me guys it's so easy to say um i want to do this and i want to go to gym in the morning and i want to get up and i want to have a beautiful home and i want to be focused on my job and i want to be abc and you know all these things but it takes discipline <laughs> to do that and i pick up this discipline energy here because of wisdom that comes up in the hierophant energy the hierophant in reverse energy is a very disciplined energy and very strict energy as well you have said no because of that to many people it's almost like you're going i need somebody that's like me the six of swords a six of pentacles energy is a balanced energy if they don't sort of match me then you're going to turn them away um and that is the energy of you turning a lot of people away you've turned you've like walked away from a lot of connections or people that you connected to through meeting a lot of different people that you just went mm -mm, they're not going to do this you saw red flags and you paid attention now let's see that now you might be wondering i'm walking away from so many people because i really don't want to be in a place of heartache again ever um will i ever meet somebody so let's see what comes up here unbelievable the six of pentacles comes up the second time that's crazy let's see what card is this you are gonna meet somebody hello you are gonna meet somebody i got the world card that's rocked up here you are gonna meet yes you're gonna meet somebody because of your stubbornness the universe loves a stubborn person can i tell you because keep doing what you're doing it may be like you know am i eliminating every man or woman on the planet you know that approaches me no you're eliminating the people that are not meant for you eliminating them and don't eliminate people i'm just saying you know you're just like yeah moving on you know what i mean um you will receive exactly what you're telling the universe you want to have which is the six of pentacles which is somebody that comes in that does the right thing towards you that is looking for a stable connection that takes life seriously that um, is going to give and take as much as you give and take this is fair treatment balanced energy and i feel like a very serious person as well the pentacle coming up with this is very good that is somebody coming in with an offer um that is going to be what you want because the world card has come up here this is very beautiful gemini wow um with the world card coming up here i always like to look at the world many people have different meanings for the world for me i kind of like think the world card is different for everybody it depends what you view as being what you want i mean some people may be like i want to get married live in a house white picket fence you know work nine to five job other people's world card can be jet set lifestyle living in a an apartment in manhattan you know traveling the world not getting married not getting married even not having kids it just depends whatever it is in your world this person's world is going to be the same as yours what they want their vision of what they want and the life that they want to have matches with you it comes up twice here with the six of pentacles energy it's like both of you have the same idea of what it is you want to have in life and that is why this person comes in towards you remember how you are the energy that you vibrate is what you attract so that's why you, it's easy for you to say no to what is not like you. And this is actually good because somewhere out there, there is a person. And this is somebody that's coming in here. I want to see some timing for you guys. Let's have a look and see if we can see some timing. Why not? Let's see. Well, douche, the judgment card has come up here. That's not exactly the timing I want to have, but it's a very positive card showing energy. You might meet this person in a couple of weeks, to be honest. Possibly the next two months with the queen of swords energy that is so what i was describing up there this is what you've been doing cutting people out like who don't you don't match with you who are not your same energy you've been cutting them out because you've been doing that the judgment card has come up here the judgment card talks about the ending of karmic cycles the ending of a karmic cycle i think that you learned because of the hierophant energy coming in here you gained wisdom and you know what is meant for you and what is not meant for you and you're not playing games anymore you're waiting for something serious to come in because that's the information i feel like look at this person kind of like holding up their hands like that it's like you're telling the angels you're telling the universe this is what i want and because you're being so stubborn about it you're going to get it yes but there we go guys if the reading resonates with you please hit that thumbs up button even subscribe if you so wish to do so otherwise i'm sending you all love and light in your direction thanks for watching bye hello cancer welcome all you single guys out there um i wanted to get a message from spirit guide for you and see what they've got to say with regards to love and relationships with regards to you being single and 
what is coming up? What do we need to look at? So let's clear the space. I don't know why I'm rambling, but let's clear the space of all previous readings and energies and send that positive vibes through to you guys. Let's see what comes up in your reading. Let's have a look. We're using the angel tarot. So let's pull some cards out for you and see what spirit guide has got to say and the angels with regards to you and love. Whoa. Ten of air energy. Seven of fire. Yeah. Okay. And we have got a three of fire as well. So, okay, what I can see here, yeah, I can see you've been through something quite hard here, Cancer. Um, you may not be sure. Um, it's a really funny, really funny energy that I'm getting through here. This can be for somebody very specific. It's almost like if you, it's, it's almost like you're not sure if love is meant for you. Am, am I going to receive love? Is love ever going to be ready for me? Is it meant for me? Maybe it's meant for other people and not me. Um, that's the kind of energy that I'm... Is love meant for me? Kind of question mark, question mark vibe. Um, because of what you've experienced, with the Ten of Air being here, um, this is Ten of Swords energy. That means you've been through all the swords, okay? Um, there's a lot of pain in this card. There's a lot of difficulties, a lot of hurt, a lot of betrayal. A lot of a lot of crying right there you know ah guys the end of a difficult situation embrace the change expect things to get better now recovering from addiction the addiction that we're talking about could have even been a specific person that you were in love with and you had to release but because of what they did um you know how it's so funny it's like we can be uh, with a person that treats us badly, but we still love them. And that's really a hard thing to break, which I feel like you've done. But because of you, for some of you guys, this was a bit of a narcissistic, kind of like an abusive situation that I'm picking up on. Yeah, I kind of picked it up immediately when I saw these cards. And then there's the energy, yeah, seven of fire energy, which is seven of wands. Um, defend your beliefs and decisions. Yes. Stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. Um, I do believe you're not in this connection anymore. You've left away, left, left them. I also believe they try to get back together with you again, but you keep on blocking them and saying no. Um, even though there are times you may doubt and think to yourself, should I go back? You know how this situation is. If you've never been in something like this, you don't know how complicated it is. It's very very easy for somebody who has never experienced sort of a narcissistic connection or a connection that was a bit low-key abusive you know what I mean even maybe more than that it's very difficult for the person experiencing that because it, it changes your brain chemicals almost to a point where you don't know really sometimes right from wrong because you get gaslighted a lot in this kind of situation um, I do feel that you are getting that now you're beginning to realize what's wrong and right and you do block this person you may have even blocked them this is quite a serious reading at the same time you are hoping to have a relationship as well with the three of fire coming in which is the three of wands energy abundance things looking very good have patience at this time and make long-term plans i do believe this is for somebody who has left a very difficult connection um, but you do believe that in the future you will still meet people you may be thinking of um, getting out there and starting to date as well and starting to meet new people and at the same time there's this doubt here with a seven of fire what if i just attract the same person um, what if I don't find somebody? What if this was my person? You know, there's that confusion that I'm picking up on here. Let's see what spirit guides have got to say. They're talking about this person. Um, Knight of Wands energy. This is the worst card for me to come up in a love reading, guys. Knight of Wands in the reverse position. It's the top number one that I don't like to see because this is a person that has got fire energy. They can burn people. Um, they burn, okay? They're very quick moving. They, their attitude, their, um, their, their behavior, their, their mood shifts very quickly from one extreme to the other extreme. It's almost like one moment they're very happy and laughing and the next moment, you know, they, they're shouting at you or they being very cold. You know, it changes extremely. It's like extreme weather patterns here. You know what I mean? This is this person's personality. So let's see what card is this. Yeah, uh, they are talking about this, you sometimes remembering them. There is that 
confusion there. That is normal. I'm just letting you know. You may even have children with this person, which is quite a common thing to happen because people who kind of like want to control other people, they do everything that they can to tie you to them, to make it harder for you to leave. So they would be wanting to have children very quickly with you um, or let's have kids really quickly because they want to be able to cause a tie between you and them and make it harder for you to leave the situation. With the Six of Cups being there, I do feel like in current energy, you still think a lot about this person. But thank God you're, you're, you're leaving it. You're still in this energy, by the way. Um, this takes time to walk away from. Um, it can take a year, sometimes to two years, before your brain actually starts to get back to normal kind of vibe. I do feel like there's been a lot of stress on you, so you're also not yourself 100% yet, but you will be. Even though you think about this connection with the Six of Cups being here, don't think about the connection. This is what Spirit Guide is saying. Think about the person, not the, the relationship, because the relationship is something that you created in your mind. The energy of what you want it to be. you remembering good moments. Remember the person who they truly are. At the, not the whole, you know, where you were living, what you did. Who is this person? This person will only create a few of these good memories and the rest of it's going to be this 10 of air up here. Um, you will walk away from this with the Eight of Cups energy and you will have this energy of going, I don't know if I'll ever really meet somebody, but um, I'm going to walk away any, anyway because I don't feel like this... For me, I don't think you want to want to have this 10 of air in your future. Who would? You know? Um, so let's see what our spirit guide advises. Oh, the card fell up here. Hierophant in the reverse position. There you go. You are going to learn a lot. This is also Taurus's energy as well. Um, you're going to walk away from this connection. You're gaining a lot of wisdom, even though you think you won't, but you will be walking away. Ace of Swords energy, without a doubt, no matter what, you, you will be fine. You're going to overcome this, even the pain that you still carry, the hurt that you still carry. Remember, this is Ten of Air, the Ten of Swords energy. He has an Ace of Swords. The ending of a cycle, the walking away from the past. There's your past. And he has your Ace, wisdom gained, understanding. And there you in the process of gaining the wisdom. The Seven of Fire, it's like watching your back. It's like... When you do make a move, being careful, thinking about it. If you do keep your head about you, you will be fine. And it does show me that you will. Um, with this hierophant coming up here, that's real strict uh, understanding about what life is. It's a growth. It's a spiritual growth as well. And because of that energy, the wisdom that comes with the hierophant energy, you will have a beginning. And you will start a new life, almost like I feel like. Um, no matter what difficulties you face here, you will be successful. This is very good. I'm so curious now. Spirit, what else do you want to say? My God. I had this, I think, for the previous Gemini reading, but it was a total different layout here. My goodness gracious me, guys. Um, you will get what it is you want out of life. Look at this. Don't think of this. It's very hard to disconnect from an, a situation like this. Do not think of this as you walking away from memories, walking away into the unknown. Think of it when you walk away into the unknown. In fact, the unknown is your dream come true. It is what you always wanted to have. You will, I honestly feel, be in a relationship again, but it's not going to be anything like this. You've also gained the strength from experiencing this, where you have got a sword now. You know, when you enter a relationship, you know your boundaries. That's a boundary. That's like when you when you when somebody wants to cross the boundary, you're going to say, uh -uh, no, that's going too far now. So you will be able to stand up for yourself much more and also say no to things that are not right for you. Because of that, he has the world. There's the world. That's your last card, number 21 in the Major Arcana. That card tells me your dream of what you want your life to be like, it is going to manifest for you. It's going to materialize in the real world because of the actions that you are currently taking. Saying no to things out of wisdom that you know is just going to go here is going to bring in happiness for you in the future. Whoa, Cancer, this is a beautiful, it's a very strong reading. I think at the time, there's many times that you haven't felt strong being connected to this energy, but look what you've become. Oh, Cancer, 
I'm sending virtual hugs your direction because I know if this is you, I know how you're feeling. Let me tell you, you're going to be a powerhouse of a human being. You already are. But there we go, guys. If the reading resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, I'm sending you guys all light and love moving forward. You are a powerhouse without a doubt. Bye. Hello, all my single Leos out there. In this reading, we're going to see what advice Spirit God has got for you with regards to love. So let us begin. Let's clear this area of any previous readings that have been happening here and send that positive energy through to you guys out there as well. So let's see. We're going to start off using the angel tarot. Um, we're going to see what the angel energy has got to say for you or to you with regards to what has been going on with you, your love life, your relationship. So let's have a look and see what comes up for my Leos. Let's have a look. Five of A. Whew. All right. Five of A is the five of swords energy. It does say unwise choice and unwise choice. Um, learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. I kind of got the feeling in the readings when I've been doing them, it's almost like we've been looking at um, endings and beginnings of different things from throughout the, all the readings. When I ask spirit guides, show us what you want to show us, and this is what they show. I do look, it looks to me as if this is where you've been and it looks like where you are going which is a very good thing because right now I see conflict here with the five of air energy this unwise choice it does look like you may have gotten into a relationship that was just not good at all and you did learn from the situation um I think you learned a lot more deeper about the person that you were with as well with regards to why they were with you and what kind of person they were this is excellent to see coming up here especially for a single person with this energies coming in in your reading it does tell me you are not going to be a single person for long nobody can carry the energy of love inside of them and not receive it and you are currently carrying the energy of love inside of you it is beautiful it says trustworthy compassionate respected and cultured open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice charity work you're being such a, a loving good person here i i love this so much and um, the nine of water which is the nine of cups energy your wishes come true concerns fade away and a love for life you cannot be the king of water and not receive love so I feel like you've come from a very painful past. You've been hurt by somebody. Um, you've seen the truth about that person. At the same time, you've decided not to let this pull you down. You've decided to become the love that you never received from them. And you treat other people the same way um, that you are to yourself as well. Very beautiful energy. You must be like the kindest person in your family like everybody knows like oh this leo wow and um, because of that you have got a wish coming true and the card that literally just fell out is the sun card on the ground yes you've got a wish coming true the sun card is definitely coming in here for you there is going to be something entering your world that is going to be literally a wish comes true um this is a beautiful energy with the sun card it's a very positive energy it also means understanding enlightenment as well i'm um, seeing something clearly as you've never seen it before you have got a relationship coming in without a doubt i cannot believe the nine of cups has come up twice this is really very good um you Wow, I just, um, my mind is a bit blown here. You are definitely putting in the work here with regards to your own energy with the Eight of Cups Pentacles coming up here. This is you doing the work that needs to be done within yourself. This is you putting your heart at ease, healing your heart, doing what it is that you needed to do to recover from this Five of Air energy. I even feel like this is the energy of the Five of Air, which is Five of Swords, a lot of conflict going on in that card, a lot of fighting, a lot of drama sort of energy you know disagreements between people i almost feel like you chose the high road i almost feel like you said no i'm not staying in the five of air 
no, not Leo. I am going to wear daisies in my hair and I'm going to be surrounded by sunflowers and I'm going to be somewhere else. I'm going to remove myself from such low vibrating energy and take myself to the highest vibrating energy that there is. And you did so. And this has taken a lot of hard work from inside of you. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Oh my goodness. And with the Nine of Cups coming in here, this tells me you are going to find somebody who is totally, absolutely matched to you. So let's come in here and have a look and see. What else comes up here? Yes, you are. You are going to find somebody who is totally and absolutely matched to you. You've got the Two of Wands energy. This Two of Wands energy is a partner that is without a doubt coming in. You guys are equally matched. Look at these two wands here. They are equal in every little bit of differences, but they stand the same. They are equally the same. And this usually indicates a long term connection moving forward. This is excellent i do feel like you're waiting for this person to come i'm just gonna say for some of you you may already know this person and you might be friends with them already i'm just saying for some of you guys out there um let's have a look and see what else comes up wow pentacles pentacles two pentacles energy this is a very good energy because of this energy of the Six of Pentacles coming in with the Eight of Pentacles, it tells me the person that is coming in for you here is going to be a very balanced energy as well, which is very good. You need to have a balanced energy, especially coming from Five of Air, especially because you yourself are working so hard at putting yourself at balance. This card is a give and take energy. It also talks about stability because it's a pentacle as well, but it's also an energy of somebody coming in that is wanting to do the right thing. I'm finding this very interesting. I'm finding a lot of balance coming through in your reading between you and your person. I kind of feel like um, with this Two of Wands coming in here, it shows me there's a lot of balance energy. And with this Eight of Pentacles, it shows me that balance again. The two of you are very, very well matched. So let's see what our spirit guys got to say about those two Nine of Cups right over there. That is beautiful. Is this your future? Wow, and it's hard work. It's like stable. This is what you got matching cards. It's finding there's a lot of balance going on here. For some reason, this person that's coming in, you guys are a lot alike. You got two nine of water, which is nine of cups energy over here. You got two eight of pentacles that's come up in different tarot decks. And I'm finding this very interesting that the energy, it's almost like a triangle on the side here. It's all moving to the future. And this is going to be a stable connection that both people want to come into and work on and work hard on to create a place of happiness for themselves, to create a place where your dreams come true and your future, whatever that is that you're thinking of. Because, you know, we all have sort of an idea of what kind of relationship we want and what kind of life we'd like to have. This is receiving it all with those nine cups there but it will take work to get this but i gotta tell you nothing nothing in this world doesn't take that to when you want this everything even the simplest thing like love you know the feeling is just there when you love someone that feeling is just there but behind that feeling is a lot of work to keep the energy and the love that is there in the right place so that you can receive this energy but i love this because the, there's a lot of balance coming out even with the, the matching cards coming again it shows me balance again between you and this person for some reason the two of you are either equally in standing, either in life-wise, both of you, if you, for instance, um, are both, if you're a manager, say, for instance, of a business, they're a manager of a business. If you are a business owner, they are a business owner. Um, if you are, say, a, a, a master student, they are a master student. You know, you're in equal standing. It's not even with regards to status or life. It's got to do with understanding about what you've experienced and your want and need for what you want for the future both of you oh yes and the herbs are popping doesn't that give you a fright that charcoal block just decides to pop herbs whenever it does that i know spirit guide is going this is very important and the two of you have got a very much deeper understanding about what it is you want out of life and understanding about how to get it you both want this and you both know how to get it and that's why the six of pentacles comes in it's the equal give and take both of you know when to push both of you know when to relax and that's what makes you guys 
perfect for each other like this. This I'm going to say it again. I did pick up the vibe a little bit earlier that you might already know this person. Um, for some reason, I feel like you might know them. If you do know them, they could currently be a friend with you. And um, you you get along very, very well with them. This friendship could literally move into something much more stronger than just friendship. For some of you guys out there, it keeps coming through again and again. But otherwise, guys, if the video resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in my next readings that I release. Thank you so much for coming in. Bye. Hello Virgo, welcome into your singles reading. Let's get advice from Spirit Guide for with regards to love for you. Let's clear the space of any previous readings and send all that positive energy to you guys out there. Let us get started. We are going to use the Angel Tarot today to get some advice for you out from your Spirit Guides with regards to love. So let's have a look and see. You got a five of earth energy um this tells me that there was a breakup in your past you got the lovers oh my goodness oh my goodness in your energy as well which is gemini's energy and you've got the death energy okay all right guys for whomever i'm reading for right now the breakup is still fresh on your mind this is in your energy very deeply here with the with the the five of earth energy which is a it's energy of losing stability. Um, it does say fear surrounding money, wisdom to accept help from others, and uncertain self-employment. The self-employment is uncertain relationship, basically. Um, the lover's card, which is Gemini's energy, Archangel Raphael has come in here. Intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions and good health. Woohoo, that's what we need. Um, and then you've got the death energy. That's why I said this relationship, it's this connection it's very fresh it's a very fresh breakup this um it literally is archangel azariel's energy the end of a phase or a situation spiritual transformation a time to move on my goodness me this is i, I can't say anything else this is you you just came out of a breakup um this is a very recent thing as well i still feel like you miss this person you think a lot about them you still haven't yet adjusted almost like i feel like your energy body the aura that you have it's not yet been adjusted to single life yet you still feel like there's a lot lot missing around you it's almost like your day is not the same anymore it's like there's something missing a person missing even though you guys broke up the person may have done something wrong to you there was no other choice but to break up or there was a breakup they could be them that left you as well um you know there's a breakup you know that you you without them but you are missing the energy of being in a relationship more than the actual person to be honest it's just this feeling of you know i'm in a relationship so this weekend this is what we do when we were in a relationship i remember going through a breakup once and um it was like a, i actually got divorced a little way back and then um there was a time i used to have to go do like grocery shopping you know what i mean and then i used to feel it i used to feel it at that point like not going with somebody to the supermarket and you're pushing the trolley together even though in those moments you were fighting with that person but you miss you see other people with their people you know and then you miss that energy of being with somebody i feel like you there I feel like you're there. So let's see. This is a very fresh breakup, hey? Um, so let's have a look and see what Spirit Guide has got to say. Yeah, you're still missing this person. The Two of Wands energy comes up here. This is a very fresh breakup. You're still missing this person and you're in hermit energy. This is not what you wanted. Um, this breakup, I feel like it's not. There's your alone energy. There's the hermit. That's exactly what I was feeling. There's this feeling of you being alone. Yeah, this is definitely a breakup. Got a ten of wands that has come up here as well. I do feel like you still feel the loss of them. Um, even though it's not them, a lot of you guys might be going, yeah, I don't ever want to see them again. But it's not really their energy that you're missing. It's just the energy of being in that connection with somebody. You know, that person that you can talk to when you want to speak to somebody and they're just not there. Um, at, although I feel that it wasn't like that at the end, um, because of the Ten of Wands being there, it shows me there's been a lot of stress here. There's been a lot of um, anxiety, a lot of things that you were carrying. It's almost like you were carrying the relationship and they were not, you know. So you had a lot of strain on your shoulders. You are at the point of releasing this energy because with the death energy being there, um, which is also a Scorpio's energy as well. This energy, and we've got Virgo that is coming here as well. 
um, the, with this energy of the hermit coming in here, you may not have liked this breakup. And I feel like you're feeling the weight of being single. It's not something that you like. It's not something that you like. You feel that space. You feel like that energy. Um, you are gonna. You are entering a new cycle here. So give it some time to come in. Let's see what Spirit Guide has got to show us still further for you. Let's have a look and see. Knight of Wands energy. Mm. You're gonna be single for a little while, I think. So, yeah, you got that. The Queen of Swords. You're still gonna have to learn to become stand up. You're gonna have to heal with that energy. Yeah, I think this. This honestly for you guys, you're single right now, and um, Spirit Guide is literally showing you needing to sort things out honestly i know a lot of you guys out there are going no tell me about the next person um spirit guides like we cannot tell you about the next person until you close the chapter that you're in and the chapter that you're in even though the relationship is over there is a lot of unanswered questions here there's a lot of um missing energy of missing being with that person of missing being in a relationship and memories here with the six of cups cups as well and this is unfinished business that you need to take care of if you want to have another relationship you got to become the knight of wands energy here and the knight of wands energy under this kind of reading is a very good reading because the knight of wands is on a crusade the knight of wands is asking questions about love is asking questions about themselves questions about the relationship and um, i still feel like you even there a lot of things go around and around in your mind still with regards to what happened what he said what she said what they said you know all those kinds of things and you're still going to come out of this energy you cannot go into another relationship just as of yet to make yourself feel better um, because it will end up hurting you again even more because you're not ready yet um, you're very close because I see the Ten of Wands with the Death card being there. This needs to be sorted out. You need to look back a bit at what has happened and your reaction to different things, their reaction to different things. Sort of make peace with this as well. This Queen of Swords is the energy that needs to come up in you. This is an extremely strong card. The Queen of Swords for me with the King of Swords energy, they are the strongest um, uh, uh, King and Queens in the tarot if you ask me. Um, with regards to strength and being able to stand and face difficult times, they do it the best. And it's in the reverse position, which tells me as well. Sometimes when I pick up the swords like this of the court cards in the reverse position, I kind of like feel like there's a bit of anger as well involved here towards your person. And um, this needs to all get kind of like taken care of and healed as well. Because if you want to have a new beginning, you literally have to do that. You have to release the past. And as of yet, I can see the past is still with you, even though they are not. So there's a lot of things here that you need to make peace with, that you need to get even answers to yourself, looking within yourself. And you find the answers in this mode. You find it in the hermit mode. This is where you're going to find the answers that this knight is looking for. And from that point, I think you're going to go through these stages of disbelief, of wanting them back, of being really mad, you know. And then eventually you're going to make peace with the situation. I almost feel like you're making peace with your past. When this happens, when you go through these different stages, think of this like a mourning. You know, you're literally mourning the loss of a love. And of a relationship, of a dream that you had. Go through the stages, allow them to happen to you one at a time. And when you do so, you are going to put down this Ten of Wands. And without a doubt, there will be. Let me ask for you guys. I got to ask, okay? What is coming after the healing? Let's have a look. What is coming after the healing? <laughs> stable relationship. Thank you. A stable relationship. Commitment is coming. After you do the healing, that is what's coming. Three of Pentacles, stable, long-term, committed relationship. But to get to this energy, you got to go through the healing so that you can be free of any energies that are not meant to go with you into a future connection. There we go, guys. If the reading resonates with you, please hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, I'm sending you all love and light on your way for the rest of your day. Bye, guys. 
Hello all my single Libras out there. How are you guys doing? We're going to be asking angels and your spirit guides to come in and advise us with regards to relationships. They are going to show us what they want to show us and not what maybe we want to see. Um, but they, we are asking them about new love as well. Whoa, an Ace of Cups comes up in your reading. As I said, new love. While well, they're going, well, maybe this is what Libra wants to see. With the Justice card coming in here as well. Let's see what other card will come out and the six of fire oh my goodness libra you have got a soulmate coming in and um, single it gets right to the point i'm like yeah they'll show us what they want to show us and they're giving us a break they're showing us what we want to see yes you've got a love coming in here the ace of water energy which is ace of cups falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth enhanced intuition and a new home for some of you guys i'm just going to put it out there because when i saw the justice card it kind of made me feel like it could be an ex person as well that could be coming in here somebody from your past that you could reconcile with but for others of you this is a complete new person with the ace of cups energy the justice card comes out here archangel ragul's energy which is also um libra's energy as well hello libra you have rocked up in the house in your own reading very strong reading this one um fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs um for some of you guys i'm just going to tell you it's really weird but I, I feel like for some of you guys that this person could be your star sign they could also be a Libra like you or they've got very strong Libra uh, placement I just got this vibe here I never really pick it up like that but I kind of feel it um, with the six of fire coming through here uh, they are a soulmate to you. My six of fire, six of wands energy is my card that tells me soulmate recognition between two different people. It says victory. Woohoo. Good news is on the way. Public recognition and awards. The public recognition has got to do with recognition between you and this person on a soul level when you meet. So let's go in. This is nice. This is a beautiful energy. Um, let's have a look and see what our spirit guides has got to say. You got to pay Age of Wands energy coming in here. You guys are going to get to know each other mainly by chatting on the phone with a page of wands coming up here. This is communication. This person comes in. You talk a lot. I like this coming up here under the under the justice card. This is a very strong person. And um, for some of you, this person could literally be doing something with regards to law. So they could be in the law. Um, they could be in police force. They could be in uh, even a lawyer or something of that kind of uh energy or if they're in law it's some kind of legal thing they may not necessarily be a lawyer there's a lot of different things that people can do even like human resources kind of a thing you know that kind of hr kind of vibe because they also go to court systems and things like that um they're very established in whatever it is they do okay they they got there they got in their place let's see what else comes up here you're gonna have to allow this person to come in um they're gonna start speaking to you on the phone and i feel like it's gonna go a little bit slow um to actually meet in, not that you don't meet in person but it's more like you're gonna spend a lot of time talking to each other than actually being in the same room and then there's gonna be a moment here where that does take place with the three of wands coming in it's almost like you talk a lot on the phone you know getting to know each other and then there is a shift that happens almost after a little short little while there's going to be a shift that happens um where you are talking on the phone a lot it's like let's go out uh, let's meet and they want to meet with you and this is going to be i feel like almost like an exciting vibe coming through here um with the three of wands energy it does show me that you will must probably go out with this person and meet with them uh get to know them as well with the three of wands coming through i do really really like that energy um it's always positive the three of wands card talks about positivity i almost feel like you guys start going out quite a lot with each other from the three of wands what i'm picking up from the card it seems like you guys start going out a lot this this connection I'm just going to tell you, it feels fun. I don't know why. It feels like this is exciting. This is fun. It's like you really, it just changes something with inside of you, to be honest. With this three of wands here, it almost feels like a part of your world opens up and they start to show you parts of their world and be like, okay, this is where I like to go hang, hang, hang out. This is where I go eat. This is my, you know, my way I buy groceries. You know, this kind of vibe where they start showing you their world. And this is very interesting coming up there. I like that. Um, let's see what else comes in here. Whoa, Hierophant energy, guys. Um, very traditional person. 
they could be uh, belonging to like some sort of religion or some sort or have sort of like traditional old fashioned viewpoints on things which is pretty cool as well so they're the kind of person who goes yeah you know I want to settle down I want to do these kinds of things this is what I, I kind of see myself as being in a traditional relationship um, could be very religious as well let's see what they what what's that what they stand for yes very traditional there's your empress energy rocking up here they're very traditional they believe in old ways of doing things so they believe in um with the hierophant being next to the empress they do believe in marriage Ooh, this is nice they do believe in marriage that would be this king of pentacles kind of vibe male or female energy it's just a card it doesn't mean, uh, mean it's male energy alone it can be a female carrying this energy as well it can be a woman that she's very strong you know um they her their belief is one of the traditional route. Um, I meet you, we get to know each other, we go out, we get engaged, you get married, there's babies. That's how they kind of like view life. And that's what this card talks about. There is a possibility if you guys haven't had children or you still would like to have children, that you might even have ch a child with this person. If this Sesco jump back is an ex person and they do come back in here, and I'm kind of describing somebody that you know, um, this can also be uh, you already having a child with them. If it's an ex person so let's see what else oh there is definitely like it's just out there boom ace of cups yes there's a person yes there's a person uh yeah i love this card i like to see this card come out with regards to relationships the eight of pentacles energy it always makes me happy because it shows me the understanding of what it takes to make a relationship work and it's there for the two of you um especially on their side they do understand what it takes to make a relationship work and because i do feel like you've also come out of a relationship you know what it takes as well that is long-term commitment showing in the eight of pentacles that you're willing to work on a connection because that's what it takes to make a relationship work means work um, both people making the effort to be able to um, see through the difficult times and work through things that need to be worked through so that it can become that and that's exactly what it takes every single time another thing about this card with the hierophant energy um, also Taurus's energy as well this card um, it's interesting to see uh, the Hierophant coming up because it does talk about wisdom inside of people. It does talk about them understanding um, about life and what it means to be in a relationship, what it means to be alive and how to operate in the world. There's an energy of wisdom coming through here. I do feel like it's honestly from both of you guys. Um, with the Justice card coming up here in this reading, it tells me a lot of karmic things have happened to both of you. A lot of karmic things that you've carried through your lives. It does show, because the Justice card does come in, that both of you have healed and broken karmic ties to people and situations and events that were taking place. This is almost like a complete brand new start for both of you, which is very, very positive, guys. This can truly lead to marriage and children long term. There we go, Libra. I'm sending you all my light and love. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Hello Scorpio, all my single Scorpios out there. This is going to be a reading for you to see what's going on with love and relationships. So let's let's clear the space of any previous readings and send that positive vibe through to you guys. Let's get started. Let's get some angel tarot cards out and see what angel energy and spirit guides have got to say to you and give you advice with regards to being single and when is a relationship coming in and what's going on and what do you need to look at so let's see what cards will come up here for you you've got to trust <laughs> we've got archangel michael's energy coming up the wheel the wheel of fortune this is good this is interesting let's see what else comes up queen of earth energy which is queen of pentacles let's see what this card is high priestess wow what a combination of cards um this is very very interesting there is an element here of you needing to trust and go with the flow of life and not fret, okay? Because that's what Spirit Guide is kind of saying, like, don't worry about where you're going because we already have it planned for you. My goodness, I've never had them say that like that. So straightforward before, but that's what they're saying. Um, the real Archangel Michael's energy, a time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side and your energy boom comes right through here this is very beautiful queen of earth energy thoughtful creative warm and sensible make time for those around you take a sensible approach deal with challenges 
in a kind and understanding manner. This is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow. And the High Priestess rocks up here as well. Archangel Haniel's energy. Listen to your intuition. We're going back to this again. Have patience. We're going back to this again. Care carefully consider what you want before acting. There's a lot of a lot of things coming through from these three cards here. Um, what I can tell you, first of all, let's go back here. They they telling you yes, there is someone coming. This person is perfectly designed for you. You have to make sure you're perfectly designed for them. You got to get your energy in order. Um, you know, the considering what you need to be what carefully what you, before you act. It's making sure exactly what it is. You know what it is you want. Um, you need to do that now. Okay, they're kind of like saying you need to do that now. It's almost like go sit with a pen and paper and write down exactly who it is you want to be with. Don't say Brad Pitt because Brad Pitt's not available. Okay, I don't know if he is, but I'm just saying, you know, get real, be realistic and write down exactly who it is you want to be with. Um, their personality, what kind of what kind of life they want to have, um, their personality traits, like I said, the things that they like, the things that they don't like, what kind of life you want to live with this person, you know, the details, write it down in detail. And then this is the high priestess energy. You can even take that paper and burn it and let it go to the universe um, and allow this wheel of fortune to turn. Um, they're saying this because they want you to align with somebody that's already existing. Okay. Get into alignment. They, it's almost like they're going, you know what you're going to be writing? This is very interesting, Scorpio. My goodness. What you're going to be writing, we know you're describing a person that's already alive, that's already out there. You know, this person's existing. You're, you're, it's almost like you're going to be channeling info, information from your spirit guides when you're writing this down. And you're literally going to be writing a person that is existing. And you're going to see what you've written. You may even start writing and just don't think, just write and write and write. Don't stop and have a think, just keep writing. And it's actually called automatic writing, by the way, which my auntie used to do. But she used to do it on the next level. But it's almost like we can all do it. It's like just write without stopping. Write a whole page and read what you've just written and understand that, oh, so that's what I'm looking for. And that's what you're going to get <laughs> because this person is waiting for you to align with their energy, knowing to see who they are. Seven of Wands energy. You cannot let this catch you off guard as well because you've got a two of cups coming in. you got to pull your energy straight now. Um, this person's very close. you got a two of cups that has rocked up here. You may be wondering where they are and you may be thinking to yourself with the Seven of Wands in the reverse position that they're not coming. And it's almost like this energy of going, they don't want you to self-doubt this. Your spirit, without a doubt, your spirit guides are going, do not self-doubt this, that there is a person. I almost feel like they're saying, like, we can hold their hand and, you know, we just can't bring them to you now. Your energy needs to be in alignment. And I'm finding this reading very interesting. It's very different from anything I've actually done in a while. Um, the Seven of Wands energy is telling me that your energy can might be a bit negative with regards to belief about you finding this person. They want you to shift this energy. Um, almost like say it, believe it, release it. And don't think about it again. Just know. Oh, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. I've said it. I've, I've written it. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Oh, they're coming. Yes. Yes. Yes, they're coming. And um, this connection is very special. Um, wow. Scorpio. Wow. This connection is very special. This is without a doubt a soulmate to you that is coming in. This person um, might be waiting for you as well. They might be going, where is my person? Where, when am I going to meet this person? Where are they? And they're waiting for you. You have to make sure all your beliefs, your mindset, your thought processes, what you say to yourself, um, everything is in belief that they're coming. So there's a shift in energy you need to do with regards to them. Even if you feel like, no, but my energy is totally in place. Do what I did, right? Do what I asked you. Like, just write on a piece of paper quickly, quickly. Like, not, not even make a big deal out of it. And read what you wrote and go, oh, so that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you. And then let it go. It's almost like just that small little shift that needs to happen to bring in that four of wands energy with the two of cups. Unbelievable. 
the 1111 card major shift that is coming in for you as well um i just noticed something here you guys if you are in the northern hemisphere this is spring that you're in now we're in the winter season north southern hemisphere so i kind of like feel i'm keep looking at the grapes for some reason in this in this thing and i remember my grapes were ripe in right in the middle of summer at, at my place and that was in december so it's going to be around about the summertime if you're in the northern hemisphere if you are in southern hemisphere i feel like it will be the middle of the year as well because we don't want to look at timing and go no it'll be december i feel like it's going to be look at this yeah without a doubt there is a very very strong connection coming in here look and i just said there's a very strong connection coming in and there i'm putting down the strength card wow it is going to be stable unbelievable the night is coming in here to offer you the stability that you want to have and this person is very strong he has your leo energy as well that is coming here this person is very strong um they got knights of there can be an earth energy as well look at this this is nice you're the knight of you're the queen of earth in this reading and they got the knight of pentacles which is also the earth energy this is a very strong relationship that's coming in here it looks to me like it's going to be somebody that you actually maybe even live with um have a home with even possibly have a child with this person with the strength card being there they literally even saying just be strong a little bit longer we know you very very strong and um, this strength card comes in. I also feel like it indicates the two of you, that you are both very, very strong people. And that's what's going to bring in this Ten of Pentacles energy down here, which is a very strong, stable energy. I mean, this knight coming in here, it's a knight. But I almost feel like the two of you together, I mean, you get to like the emperor energy. You get like to the top where the top can the top can be. It's like both of you enhance each other to such a point where you can make each other go further than what you've ever been in life. The two of you together. It's like, yeah, you know, queen and the knight. They, you're going to push each other to go to the king. You know, that's how I feel. You're going to push each other to a place where you bring out the best in each other. This is beautiful, Scorpio. The Ten of Pentacles energy is where you're heading. Both of you very, very strong. And you're definitely, without a doubt, going to bring in the strength out of each other as well. This is very beautiful. Hang on a little bit longer. Um, clear up exactly what you want in your mind. Know when you write down that, that list or whatever you're going to do. Um, this person's existing. You're describing a person and they're coming in your direction as this knight over here. This is beautiful energy. Trust and trust here. Trust the flow and let it go. Let it go. Just let it come to you and just understand intuition wise what is heading in your direction. The feeling that you have of, oh my goodness, and I've only just noticed something. This person's holding a book here. Yes, there you go. Write it down. Write it down. There you are. There's a sign for us right there. Write it down. It's a form of manifestation and it's a form of putting your energy into the right place so you can see the person when you meet them. Otherwise, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. I'm sending you all love and light through the rest of your day. Bye. Hello, Sagittarians. For all my single Sagittarians out there, we are going to see what's going on with your love life. Let's clear the space of any previous readings and energies and send that positive vibes through to you guys out there. Let's use the angel tarot to see what Spirit Guide would like to say to you and the angels as well with regards to love in general and what is going on with you um in love and when is someone coming in let's have a look and see what will come up here the four of fire which is four of one's energy wow uh we've got the wheel of fortune as well which i like yes nice energy four of fire is four of one's energy this is interesting it says contentment peace and abundance a happy home life and successful completion of a project um let's see what else comes through here as well Wow, I feel like I'm having a deja vu moment because I literally had these cards and I've been shuffling this deck and shuffling this deck. I am going to tell you this is really quite weird. I literally had these cards for Scorpio, but in different positions. Um, it wasn't the four of fire in this deck. It was the four of wands in another deck, which is the same one. This is... Um, very interesting to come up here, but I feel like a whole different vibe coming through. With this four of wands, I honestly feel like you feel someone's coming i feel like you feel i feel like you've seen signs 
um, spiritual signs like for some reason some, I feel like if somebody out there is quite a spiritual person having the high priestess energy come in here with the wheel of fortune I feel like the, I'm reading for a person who's actually quite a spiritual person um, you may be um, reading a lot of like Eastern philosophy or even following um, almost like um, like this understanding of spirituality you know this understanding of the flow of life the understanding of where you want to go and how to get there you may be watching a lot of videos like on youtube about manifestation about getting the life that you want to have there's a lot of positive energy coming in here for some of you guys you are even more than that you could be really using like i am using herbs to cleanse your space even using crystals for some of you even witches out there and um you're doing love spells i just gotta tell you it's got that vibe coming through here and um, you are really trusting where things are going with the archangel michael's energy a time for positive change you ready for this a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side hello that's good and then the high priestess there you go archangel haniel's energy listen to your intuition and have patience coming back to the wheel of fortune energy consider carefully what you want before acting and this is very interesting i literally had a scorpio reading for some of you guys please check your chart um check your chart if you've got very strong scorpio placements in your chart please go watch the scorpio reading and that was meant for you as well okay um, let's go in. Your person possibly could even be Scorpio. I'm telling you. It's such a weird reading. Like there's this energy of two readings that are so similar. Let's see what card just fell over out here. Um, let's have a look and see what card tipped over. Hangman coming in here. Wow. Wow. You're going to be revealing your truth self to somebody. Um, I do feel like sometimes you're you're working very hard this is a very interesting reading i almost feel like it's more it's even got more to do with what's going on inside of you besides just love sometimes i feel like with the hangman card being here um this is a card of you waiting by the way waiting to meet this person waiting to see them i'm finding it very interesting that there's that light here around the head of the person which is like the waiting for the sun to rise waiting for enlightenment waiting to see the results of what you want and in the four of fire there's that yellow light as well shining with that dragon energy in there um i do feel like you're waiting to see this person sometimes i'm going to tell you this I kind of like feel like you put up a front for a lot of people. It's almost like you you put on the front of you of you being okay. Um, it's almost like you uh, performing for them in some kind of way or putting on. It's not a fake front. It's like that you don't really show your true feelings to people. So a lot of people think you're really, really okay being single. But actually, you're not that okay being single. You actually do feel quite lonely. And you are longing to find that person who perfectly matches with you. If they ask you, like, why, don't you, why are you single? You're like, oh, no, I love being single. But actually, inside, it's not like that. It's not like that. Um, I, I get that. I get that. Now, let's have a look and see what else comes up here. Yeah, it's not like that at all. It's interesting that Spirit Guide is bringing this up for you. You do have the heartache and there you are waiting. Wow. You do have the, the sadness and the loneliness that comes through here with the Five of Cups. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you may have been single for quite some time. Or there's just you haven't had love in a while from a person. Um, it makes you wonder why, why, why haven't I had love from somebody? Where is this person that's supposed to be out there that loves me? Because you keep looking at what you've lost, but you're not noticing what's behind your back. That there is two cups still behind your back that you haven't yet seen. Um, there is definitely stability coming here with the seven of pentacles. And I, be, I almost feel like you, you know it as well. You can feel it intuitively. You know that this wheel is going to turn and you are going to meet a soulmate here. Um, and at the same time, there's that, that loneliness that still comes in. I mean, that wheel is turning in its own time. And during the time that it's turning, you're still alive. You know what I mean? And you're still in that energy of feeling that loss. I can honestly, I'm going to tell you for this reading, I can feel it like a bit of a, almost like a heaviness in my chest and around my heart area like it's almost like a bit of a pain there um it's really weird feeling but i feel like um i feel that in you it's almost like you do feel the emptiness and you do feel the the loss of not having received the love that you wanted to get and you wonder will it come it's almost like a pain a bit of heartache here so let's see yes it's coming oh my goodness you got a full card yes you got a beginning coming yes somebody's coming yes somebody's coming yes your page of pentacles and it's not a joke it's oh my 
it's not a joke. Oh, they're not coming in playing, guys. And I'm tired of that as well. Aren't you tired of the players? <laughs> I'm like, what is happening to everybody, guys? Um, there's not a player. They coming in. This is a very light-hearted energy. Don't you just need that? Because the way I'm feeling the energy around my heart, I feel like for other people, you kind of show yourself as being very happy and very good, lucky and very, oh, I'm fine and I got it all together. But in your alone moments, you really do feel the pain of being alone and not having found the love that you wanted to find. For some of you guys, you may be even a bit older as well. It's been quite a road. Um, you've got somebody coming. There's a surprise coming up here for you. This person's energy is very happy um they're very funny as well this person's got a very very funny sense of humor this person will make you laugh which i feel like sometimes you haven't really had a laugh um real laugh that's real you know that's not just for you know i'm laughing because you know everybody's wanting me to laugh or i just have to put on that face that everything's okay but this is real good energy coming in here with the fool and not only is it that but they pretty stable it's not sometimes they may look like they're quite happy-go-lucky kind of people but they value stability with the page of pentacles being in there they are the one that's going to make the offer to you so this person is coming to you and they're going hey how are you? You know what I mean? And make a joke about something. That's what they'll do. They'll come in and say, you know, I like you. And then make a weird joke. Maybe it'll be about themselves falling off a brow, falling off a wall or something funny. They're that kind of person. Um, I think you'll kind of like the energy. This is going to the Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful reading. I think for the energy that I keep feeling this energy coming from here, this kind of like very heavy energy of what you carry. And it's kind of like a secret that you don't tell anybody about it. I feel it. So I feel like you deserve this more than anyone. I feel like this Ten of Cups is what you deserve. This is the home. This is the love. This is the relationship. This is um, the life together. This is joy. This is children. This is marriage. This is everything that you want. But there's a lot a lot of emotion in that card where I feel there's no emotion here there's a lot it's almost like this is going to make up for what you haven't received in your life oh Sagittarius this is absolutely beautiful if the reading does resonate with you please hit that thumbs up button even subscribe and hit the notification bell otherwise guys i'm sending you this positive energy this is beautiful you deserve this you deserve this so much it's meant for you sending love and light to all who's watching bye Hello Capricorn singles, how are you guys doing? Let's clear the space of all previous readings and send that positive vibes through to you guys out there. Let's get started. Let's get some angel energy as well as your spirit guide energy out with regards to what is going on with you and love guys. Let's have a look and see. Let's see what angels want to say to you. So let's have a look and see. Nine of Earth energy, but this is good. If you're single and you're carrying Nine of Earth energy, that is Nine of Pentacles. Let's see what else comes out here. Hmm, the Devil energy has rocked up here as well. Wow, Capricorn, that is your card. And the Three of Earth, what is going on? This is 100% Capricorn energy taking up the top row. This tells me, guys, like, wow, whoever I'm reading for right now, you're in a place of power and strength here with regards to stability and life. You're very, very strong, but you're single, <laughs> you know. Um, everything looks amazing. Your life in itself, I feel like this is, I'm reading for a Capricorn who is literally, I'm not even looking at these cards, I'm just picking it up, who is literally... Um, plan their life out uh, to the T and you're working on your goals, you're working on establishing where you want to go and who you want to be, um, how you want to live in this world and you're well on the way to doing it. If you have not already arrived to many of your goals, I feel like you will be. This is a very, very strong reading. For a lot of you guys, you are focused on your career you're focused on life itself, where you want to live, the things you want to experience, you know, even the car you want to own, the house you want to live in, all those kinds of things. There is one thing missing here and it is love. Um, let's read what the cards say before we move on. 
nine of earth energy enjoying life's little luxuries spending quiet time alone there's the single vibe successful self-employment i actually feel like you don't spend a lot of time alone you may have actually quite a good big group of friends and go out quite a lot but in those moments when you shut the door you are alone this is the ego energy devil energy which is your card archangel jopiel's energy coming in here a false sense of entrapment this talks about ego right and um, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Um, that's quite interesting coming through from the ego card, the way that they describe it in the angel tarot. And I did feel like you focusing a lot on, um, you know, material things, which is not a bad thing, but there's, there's something missing there. There's that element of, there's an, that emptiness that, that love is not here. And then the three of earth, wow. Um, the power of create, three of earth energy, power of creativity, recognition for high quality work, being a team player. Let me tell you, you are very stable in life, except for that one thing. Except for that one thing. Let's see what spirit guides. Wow, I love it though. I mean, it's it's one. You know what I can tell you? If you can achieve this in life, you can achieve anything. And I think you felt that in yourself as well. But let's see what spirit guide has got to say with regards to love for you coming into this this perfect like kind of picture that you, this world that you've built for yourself. Yeah, you're quite, you're alone right now. They're like, yes, you are alone. The hermit card in the reverse position has come in Virgo's energy as well. Um, you are alone. And I think you are looking for um, someone. You may even talk about this with your friends as well, or even close family members. Like I've got everything. I wonder if I'll ever really meet anyone. Um, I don't feel like you're enjoying being alone right now. This is the spending quiet time alone. It's so interesting that this card came out in this position. And the card that comes on top of it is the hermit energy. Um, I sometimes feel like for some of you guys, you know, you might have quite a big group of friends or acquaintances, and it's almost like you've been watching from the sideline as they keep getting paired up with somebody and end up moving in with someone and having a baby and getting married, and you're always kind of watching. I've got this energy of uh, somebody being a bridesmaid or always going to weddings, but it's never their wedding, you know. So let's see what else comes up here. And again, here's your energy. Again, the devil card has come up here twice. This time the devil card's got a complete different vibe because we have got the devil, the energy showing a couple here. So without a doubt, there is somebody out there with your name on them, you know, and you got, they got their name on you. Um, you are listed with someone here. There is a person that you are connected to um, with the devil energy being there. This is a feeling of enthusiasm. This is a connection that that passion that you get when you meet somebody. For some reason, I'm just going to tell you, you and this person are very different somehow. I don't know why. It's not really coming from the cards. There's just an energy of you and this person being quite different in personality, which I'm finding quite interesting. Let's see what else comes up here. And the five of wands energy. There's that debate that I was feeling. There's the energy of you going, will I ever really have that connection? Will I ever really be with somebody? There is a, it's with, I think you discussed this with other people as well, like I did say, and it's they, I think they say, no, you're going to meet someone, you're going to meet someone, and you're like, I don't know, hey guys, I don't know, and um, with the five of wands being there as well, I think it's even in your mind, when you are in those quiet moments, it is something that bothers you, honestly, I will tell you Capricorn, um, you know, everybody has got their their stone to move, their obstacle to fight in this lifetime. You know, some people have love and then they have bad health, you know, um, some, or they have money, money problems or career issues. And uh, I feel like you don't have that. I feel like you've got your career sorted. I feel like the obstacle that you face, the burden that you have to overcome, the blockage that you have to uh, unblock, the door that you have to open, your thing, your lesson is about love is to find that perfect person. It's like you have the power to do everything, but you don't have the power to bring the love that you want. It's quite interesting for somebody who I feel is quite powerful in life, you know. So let's have a look and see. King of Pentacles, there you go. There's your energy again coming through very strong in the reading. Let's see what our spirit guide has got to say here. Let's have a look and see. Queen of Pentacles, there is definitely somebody out there. That is, that's coming for you. And look, the magician energy. This is a very interesting reading. I literally said I felt like you're quite a powerful person, quite a, a strong individual person. And it comes through in the bottom row right there. But you are partnered with somebody. There is a person out there for you. Um, the magician energy tells me what I was just saying. It's like you can literally 
create what you want out of life and you have and you are still doing so you I feel like you're a person that's gonna have great success to be honest um, it's the love thing I want to ask, I'm going to go a little bit further for you guys. Let's see if we can push the angels and your spirit guys just a tiny bit to show us what we need to see with regards to this energy. There's temperance energy rocking up here. I have to tell you something. When I was looking at this energy here, um, in the devil card itself, I wanted to show you this. I did want to tell you, I thought possibly this could be a fire sign that brings out the differences in the two of you. Because I felt like this was your energy, male or female, because of the fruit that's almost like a little tail. It's a fruit there, meaning earth energy. And this side, there's a person that's got fire energy. Up comes the temperance card. Um rocking up here which is the fire energy this that Sagittarius is energy as well you got two Capricorn now you got the Sagittarius coming up here it does tell you to take it slow this person when you meet the right person for you I do kind of feel like it is going to be not like happening this week or next week it's gonna take some time to meet this person I am gonna tell you something to be honest I feel like one of the strongest things that you're meant to be doing in life has got to do with what you're doing over here. There's an energy of you doing something. For some of you guys, this can be to do with a life purpose. It can be a business that you're running or a path that you're on. This is one of the things that you are meant to be doing. It's almost like you need to get yourself this sorted. When you're in the place that you need to be with regards to life itself, you're going to meet this person. With the temperance energy, it talks about taking things very slowly. There's a road that you are on, that you are traveling on, and you must just know on this road that you're on, you are going to meet this person. And you guys are going to be in the, in the both established in the same level of life. So it's almost like if you, I felt this kind of before in another reading, I cannot remember for who it was. I must go back and check. Um, if you, for instance, own a business and it's, it's, you know, it's got three branches, you're going to meet somebody who owns the same kind of a business that's just doing as well as yours. If you're going to be a person who is, say, for instance, a doctor, you're going to meet a, a lawyer or a chartered accountant. It's going to be somebody at equal level as you. But the personality of this person is very, very different. Um, established in life, totally the same. You're very well matched. So now that tells me you might have to still get to a level where they are at, or they are both, you both getting to the level where you're going to meet each other. There's a very, um, uh, I don't want to call it materialistic, but reality-based energy coming through in your reading. So whatever this reality is with the ego energy, you have to know um, that it is coming in. You need to be patient. This is a reality. There is a person, but there's things that you need to accomplish in life before you actually meet them. I want to get some more cards out. Let's just have a look just for you guys because it's kind of a very different kind of reading than anyone else's. Yes, this person is without a doubt coming. This person is without a doubt coming. They are there. They are in your world. Um, you just have not met them. The Seven of Pentacles talks about future stability that is still coming in, but you don't yet see it because it's on the bush. It's still growing. It is coming, guys. Let's have a look and see what's under here. And the star card rocks up here. Oh my. Aquarius's energy as well. And I have to show you what I just saw. The Six of Wands, Soulmate soulmate energy star card this is the perfect person for you i saw it from the devil energy coming out twice and the two king and queen of pentacles that you guys are very well matched with each other both of you are very very strong you know how to get what you want out of life um even though personality wise i feel like you both are very different but you match each other so well um let me tell you something this is going to be a dream come true it is in the future for you you're still on the path to get there right now it's almost like don't worry don't worry so much. Don't get in your head so much like this. There is a dream coming for you still. It is still in your future. It's okay. Put your focus into your life, into your career, in building what it is you want to build for yourself. Because I feel like when you do so, it is the actual path of you finding this person. Your success, your growth, your stability, it's what's going to take you to where you need to be. There we go, guys. I'm sending love and light to all of you. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button as well. If the reason resonates with you, even subscribe. I'm sending love and light to your direction. Bye, Capricorn. Hello, all my single Aquariuses out there. We're going to get advice from your spirit guides as well as angel energy with regards to love. But first of all, let me clear the space of all the previous readings and bring in... 
your energy and send those positive vibes through to you. Let's get some angel tarot cards out and pull my chair closer first of all. I cannot leave that burning close by, otherwise we won't even see the cards. It will smog up everything. But let's get started. Whew. Archangel Jopiel's card has rocked up here. The star card. That's a, quite a powerful card to come in here. Another major arcana, high priestess energy. Star card is also an Aquarius energy as well. Whoa. Whoa. Three of air. Where have you come from? And um, what is coming in for you? You've left something here. You've got something coming in. You don't yet know. You haven't yet seen it, but it's coming. This is unbelievable. I'm going to start with this one because I feel like this is your past energy. This is your energy currently right now. High Priestess, very nice. Um, if we start off, yeah, this is the past. Um, I do feel when I saw this card come out, I was like, whoa, whoa, this is what happened. For some of you guys, you may have been married before. You may have a child or children with somebody else, but this person um, did cheat on you or they did have another person involved that you may not have known about. This ended. Um, it's a great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others. Um, this is definitely from a past energy, but I feel like it's still in you. It's very interesting because this is the star card. And um, one of the things about the star card, another uh, meaning of the star card, besides something like a dream come true, is talking about healing as well. Because the thing is, with when you want to have something in your life, you want to have something beautiful. You want to have a new beginning. You cannot be carrying any pain from the past. And I currently see that Spirit Guide is still showing that this still reels in you. It's still something that you carry in you. There's still an animosity that you have for what this person has done. Um, I totally, 100% understand this energy. I mean, you cannot forgive somebody who has done this to you. It's very hard to, to do so. But there's an energy of you needing to release this so that you can actually heal. Because I almost pick up this energy of you kind of like going through life and walking around. But every single day, there's like a chip on your shoulder with regards to what they did to you. And it makes you, it doesn't just affect you or it doesn't keep them in their place like you know you want to keep them in that little box where they are the one who harmed you and hurt you but it's it's i understand yes there's that anger there i mean geez let me join you in putting them in the box but at the same time by holding on to it it's also affecting you as well and your happiness as well so there's an element of needing to heal because when you get a star card that's rocking up in your reading you need to understand that there is something coming here that is going to require you to release completely all the feelings that you have about what has occurred in the past towards a specific person so that this can come in it is already showing in your energy you know i'm picking up on so many things in this reading there is this golden wings here in the star card and there's also golden wings in the high priestess it tells me this person's energy is very close to you now this is the blockage currently the feelings that you have about what happened in the past, I would work on totally releasing them. And even if it doesn't mean you have to go and phone somebody and send somebody a message that says, I forgive you. No, don't do that. You don't have to do that. But it's for your own energy. It's for your own healing just to release it with inside of you. Um, because I'm seeing what it says in this uh, the star card as well, Archangel Jopiel's energy. It says happy times. And if you're carrying it the great sadness still, it's not yet happy times. Um, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. Listen to that again. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. This has got to be taken out in the back garden and, and buried. Do you know what I mean? Um, sometimes when I see this kind of thing come up like this, because I am who I am, I would like write down a whole bunch of stuff. I even noticed the high priestess carrying a book here. I would write down all my feelings towards this person, you know, and what they did and how they made me feel, the sadness I had, even take whatever they have. If I've got photos of them or something of theirs, I would go in the back garden and burn a uh, you know, a bit of a fire there, not a big fire, guys, a little bonfire thingy, and just burn it and release that energy. And then start thinking positive, start thinking about your future. That's when you're on the right path. 
Isn't that interesting? And um, the high priestess energy comes in here. This is why I'm speaking like this because of this one card, Archangel Haniel's energy. And the high priestess operates from a place of spirituality, from a place of intuition, from a place of this kind of like trusting what is unfolding, literally saying, listen to your intuition, have patience, carefully consider what you want before acting. Um, there is a beautiful connection coming through here. Let me tell you, you are very, you are going to be very happy with this person. But to get to them requires a shift in your energy. I've got a card that just kind of flew out the deck. Oh my gosh, yes, it's coming. Hello. Seven of Pentacles. This is a beautiful connection. Very stable as well. You've got a Seven of Pentacles rocking up here. It's already in your world. Like I told you, it's in your world. And um, you just have got to manifest it a bit further to get to you to do this you have to release any negative past energies so let's have a look and see without a doubt my goodness you got to release this there's your three of swords there's your nine of swords this is what somebody has done to you this is where you are you do still carry this with you you may even be sitting around um sometimes even thinking about uh, what somebody has done and you can stay up at night worrying about that with the nine of swords energy and maybe even worry that if you do fall in love again will somebody repeat this behavior this is the energy that needs to be healed the three of swords caused this in you it's blocking the blockage here is to this beautiful very stable connection it's abundant as well and um, is the is what you're carrying inside you've got to focus on the healing this golden wings here as well it makes me think of like healing it makes me think of um golden light energy it makes me think of sacral chakra as well because the top of the head is where you get this very gold kind of light sometimes coming in it is a very healing energy um let's see what else comes what our spirit guide wants to tell us my goodness angel energy as well the empress you are you're on the brink of meeting somebody you just need to make this little shift of energy, of releasing and um, letting go, doing a cord cutting to this past event that is still stuck with you. Um, there is a video I have on cord cutting. You can just check in the in the in the list below, and um, you will actually see how to do a cord cutting if you want to do so. And let me tell you, it is very good because one of the things that is blocking you is the past year. You are an empress. A empress rocking up here. That is the star, the dream come true. The empress energy is literally the home, the love, the person that you want to be with. Um, family. If you do have to, uh, children, it's like forming a family again. Let's see what else comes up here. You got to cut that out. Oh yeah, you got to end that. The queen of swords is like taking matters to hand. The queen of swords is taking control of um, what has happened in the past. Um, I feel like it belongs there on top of the nine of wands because you got love coming in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, here it comes. You got love coming in, guys. And stability. The King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. It is going to require, I feel like these two queens are you, even if you're a man. Um, it's going to require you to get your mind in order. The air energy is associated with a sword, and air is associated with the mind, with the thoughts, what you think about, you know. Um, what happens in the mind and that's what's going on in the mind especially with regards to this ending here and with the high priestess being here it talks about you having to take a spiritual path to heal this because you know uh, sometimes we sit back and go how do I make something stop and then we don't know what to do about it people say heal yourself how do I heal myself what do I do what are the steps that I need to take and being a spiritual person like me I would do things physically like do a ritual like burn a a gold candle oh my gosh that would be amazing if I was making something for myself I would like literally burn a gold candle and I would engrave on that gold candle with like a sharp object you know I would say happy optimistic positive healing all the positive things that you want love on that candle and I would light it and then I would write down all the things that have happened to me and I would burn it in that candle flame that's what I would do to do the healing I would do it over and over you know um, I would do it on a full moon night as well and this is something that you can do because I love doing something practical it shows me that 
I'm putting my energy into something. And when I'm putting my energy into something, it will, it's not just like somebody saying, you must heal. How do I heal? What do I do? Because as human beings, we are physical as well as spiritual. So we want to see something physical. We want to see something practical. And these are the funny little things you can do. You can literally do anything that it is that you want to do. And from that point, you can then heal yourself as well by doing practical things because if you take this matter into hand you sort out what's happening in the mind this is what's coming in for you a perfect couple the king and the queen stability here the you know the queen of pentacles loves the empress energy because it's not only um a stable connection with somebody that loves you but it's the home it's the family it's the love it's all the things that you actually want which is in this star card it is coming sort that energy out there because i'm telling you it's literally knocking it's on your doorstep it's so close to you you don't even know how it is i can't even explain how close this relationship is to you um it takes just a matter of you shifting your energy to allow it to come in because this is a blockage that's stopping it and we control much more than what we think. And you need to know that being the high priestess in your energy, you, you control this. You can do this healing. Even think about doing something like chakra healing as well. All seven chakras in this instance, because there's many swords in this card here. And many things have been affected by this negative connection. Um, you know, you can do sound healings like singing bowls, which you can literally find on YouTube itself, where there's seven sacral um, sound healing singing bowl sounds, which you can just play in the background in your home even while you're busy and it will do amazing things to your energy guys there we go please hit the thumbs up button even subscribe and i'm wishing you all well moving forward and healing in your direction as well bye Hello Pisces, all you single guys out there. This is going to be advice coming from spirit guides and angel energy as well. So let's clear the space of all the previous readings and bring in that positive vibes for you guys out there and sending those positive vibes through to you as well. Let's get some angel cards out. Let's see what your spirit guides and these angels have got to say with regards to advice about love and relationships for you. Let's see what's been going on hmm. you got it you wow you got a renewal energy here this is the judgment card that's rocked up here that's a major card what else is coming yes i'm not surprised there you got a ten of fire which is ten of wands energy let's see what other card will come in here three of fire it's time wow three of wands energy it is time um, you need to make a shift now. You've ended something here. Uh, with it, I'm going to start with this one. The judgment card is the most important card that we have in this entire three card setup here. The ten of fire. Um, it's going to talk about work. Uh, sometimes life things as well. It says too much work. I think it's what you've come from. It was too much work, guys. Um, accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress related health concerns. This is where you're shifting from. And um, this reading is showing where you've come from and where you're going. It's time you you've done the work. This is what Spirit Guide is saying. They're going. You're doing the work. You've done the work. You may have broken up from somebody. Um, not recently, but a while back. You may have been single for a while. This this was too much work. That relationship was too much work, and um, it caused you to be completely out of balance. You got stressed. Um, you are walking away from that you are healing that energy that is excellent yes the judgment card comes in here this is unbelievable one of the best cards for me in the tarot is the judgment card because it talks about lessons learned and success success in learning those lessons as well it's karmic by the way and um, whatever this you were carrying was a karmic burden that you were carrying you successfully carried this Congratulations, Pisces. <laughs> wow. You successfully carried it. You carried the weight of it. You dealt with it. You managed to break it. And you now have the judgment energy. It's literally a time between two different states of being. So you're coming from a place of where you were, which is 10 of fire, to where you're heading into. You're moving into through a portal. I feel like you're in the portal. You're still moving through it. You're going to be stepping out very soon into a new cycle. 
And this is going to be so interesting to see what comes up here. It says review and ev re evaluate. Um, that's, that's why I'm feeling like you're still in this. You're moving through it. A favorable assessment of the facts. You are being successful in what you are doing and you have successfully completed something major in your life here. This is big. Sometimes when I pick this up like this, um, I always get this feeling of when we heal quite a major karmic event or situation. For some of you guys, this was a relationship. This was a long-term relationship that ended. For others of you, it was a succession of relationships that repeated itself in the same way with different people and different faces, different names, you know. It was the same kind of relationship over and over again that you got yourself into. You broke that you broke that you 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 ended that cycle it is now time to move into a new direction this is the new direction through your fire talks about opening up your world which is the one's energy it says abundance things look very good it would after this energy have patience at this time and make long term plans it is time to now open up your world and begin to get out there, get to know other people, um, look for positivity. I feel like you need to be very positive at this time, especially because of the shift that you're going through. It is extremely important to be very positive at this time. Um, it's because you're creating your new beginning. You want it to be on positive energy. So let's see what comes through here. Look at that. Unbelievable. You're leaving it now. You are you literally? I feel like you in. If you're in the portal of change, you're stepping out of it as you're doing this reading. Look at this. Um, you're stepping into a new beginning. You have to open up your world now. You have to leave it behind. Whatever those cups are, they're not good for you. Um, there's not good things in those cups. There, you know. There's one cup missing. I don't know if you noticed that. That's you. That's what you've taken with you. Your heart, your soul, your your own love your own energy and you stepped out of whatever those cups were sometimes cups is emotion but remember emotion is not always a positive thing so let's see what else comes up here there you go got another fire energy coming in here quite a lot of fire coming through here as well um this is the knight of wands it tells me that you are currently single um that you you're still wondering where you're going. You're still wondering what's going to come in your life, who's going to be there, what's this uh, beginning that's coming in here. Are you going to receive what it is that you want to receive out of life? Are you going to find this person? There's a lot of questions involved in the Knight of Wands energy. Um, you're still finding your way. This is good. You can see you're still walking out there. The Three of Wands is opening up your world, finding out things in life. It's a very positive energy. So the Knight of Wands shows me, yes, single energy. Will you receive what it is you're looking for. Yes. This knight is looking for something. This knight is looking for what's in this world card here. Yes, you will. Wow. You're going to get what it is you want to have. And um, the world card is your dream in the future. What it is you want to have, it's talking about whatever it is you see in your world, how you wish your world to be. You know, our world is different from everyone else's world. The world, our little worlds are very small. It's almost like we're living in a little bubble. You know, if you look at it, we live in a little bubble over there. And um, we create different worlds. I mean, my world, the way I live, who I am, what I would love to accomplish in my life can be very different from what you want to accomplish. And this is one of the energies coming through here. And you must think exactly about what it is you want in this world because you're going to receive it on this journey that you are now of self-discovery. It's almost like I feel like you're on a journey of self-discovery. You are going to receive whatever it is you wish to have. So think very carefully about what it is you want to have. You know, the Knight of Wands, when that knight goes on that quest, they find it. And the Four of Wands comes out. Wow. That is celebration, guys. That is an energy of you finding what it is you're looking for. My goodness. You are going to be successful. You've got, a, you've got a new beginning coming in here. You have a new beginning that's going to be stable. There is a new beginning coming in here. I do feel even if you did come out of a breakup or even a breakup like a marriage, you will marry again. Oh, yes. You are going to marry again. There's the four of wands. There's your celebration day. There's your day of wedding. 
So that tells me in your future, yes, you will marry. You so you either going to remarry or get married, and this is going to be a success with the Ace of Swords energy. There will be in this marriage difficult times. Well, well, surprise, surprise, isn't everything difficult in life? Nothing is easy on planet Earth. Let me tell you, um, we're in the difficult um, dimension. Let me tell you that we're in the hard one. We're in yeah. We're in the difficult one. We face a lot of hard things here. Um, the Ace of Swords energy, you will overcome that through hard work with the Eight of Pentacles. It also tells me this relationship is always going to be a working process. You know, working process is going to be working. Uh, if it's going to go long term with the Eight of Pentacles as well. You're always going to be tweaking things as you move forward with this person. When you face a problem, you're going to work on fixing it, but you'll always be successful. I will honestly tell you for whomever I'm reading for Pisces, I honestly feel like you will definitely be um, getting married again. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're going to be getting married again. And I feel like this is the person you remain with for the rest of your life. To be totally honest with you, um, because the world card comes up there with this four of wands energy. It's very, very strong. But there we go, Pisces. If you do like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Even subscribe if you so wish to do so. Otherwise, I'm sending love and light to all of you out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.